Hello, YouTube. My name is Bowtie Media, and I have a secret. Come here. I love Coke. A cola. Okay, seriously, um, I'm probably addicted to Coca-Cola. I drink way more than I should, way more often than I should, and uh, it's 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 a problem. Like most meals that I have, I actually tend to drink a lot more than I eat, which is kind of weird to me. If everything was blended up almost, I would have more of it than I would if it was just food. It's hard to explain, but I just feel like you can just drink so much more of it, rather it's just water or just pop or anything. And that becomes a problem with Coke because I know it's not great for me, but it's so good. It's so much of a problem for me sometimes that uh, when there's lots in the house, I will have on average like two to three a meal. And especially when I do gaming sessions with some of the boys, I will, I, I, I just keep drinking like four or five hours in for like one or two an hour. It's, it's bad. But why am I talking about Coke? Well, as an expert in Coke, in drinking Coca-Cola, I would say, and a, uh, someone that's followed a certain musical artist since they have uh, joined the scene, I uh, think I have uh, some expert opinion to provide to you today. And of course, I'm talking about Marshmallow Coke. Some of you may be like, Bowtie, this has been out for a long time. Why are you talking about this now? This is kind of like past its prime. It's not even fun anymore. I've tried it and I already think of my thoughts on it. But um, I live in Canada and not one of the big cities in Canada. So I'd been searching for this for a long time. And uh, this is the first time I saw it on shelves. So I bought some. Honestly, I'm trying to do this video for about a month and I tried to order it online and couldn't and tried to find it in stores and couldn't and literally spent an hour of one of my days going to all the stores in my city to find the Coke and uh, I couldn't find it. So I finally found it, so we're gonna talk about it. Okay, real quick. Um, so I have a regular Coke for like a kind of tester, a baseline. Um, original Coke is the best, no no questions. Diet is, is the worst uh, and zero is kind of okay. Uh, life was kind of in between diet and um, zero, but uh, regular Coke is the best by far. And if I had to pick a flavor, uh, I love cherry Coke and vanilla Coke. They sometimes do a cherry vanilla Coke, which is fantastic, um, but uh, cherry Coke is more popular to find. And again, because I'm in Canada and not a very popular place, I don't get all the fun flavors. So some of you may be like, I see this all the time. I don't see cherry Coke ever. I only get it when I go to the States, but um, yeah, base Coke is the best. So let's pop the sucker open and have a swig. Ah, yeah, that's Coke. That's uh, that's, <laughs> that's Coke. That's good old Coke. So now that we've got a bit of a baseline down, um, let's try out these uh, these marshmallow Cokes. So there's two different kinds, at least the ones that I found. There's the regular and there's the zero sugar. So this is Coke Zero versus regular. I'll do the a regular to start because I think it'll be a better baseline. I, the zero is okay, like just in regular regular zero. So we'll see what the difference is. But um, also, if some of you are like, this is weird. Marshmallow Coke sounds really awful. Like, why would you put marshmallows in a Coke? Um, it's it's watermelon strawberry. It's watermelon strawberry. I you, you can't see, but it's it's watermelon. It's not even marshmallow. It's just it's just the idea that it's like marshmallow is the guy. So you, you know what I mean. So let's pop this sucker open and try this one out. Wow, that is a strong flavor off the bat. Like as soon as it touches my lips, I can already taste the like. It's a strong flavor, that's for sure. So I think the reason they went with this watermelon strawberry is because I'm kind of picturing those tiny little like candy marshmallow things, ones that are really small and the different colored, like they come in bags and you just like put a whole ton in your mouth. I think that's kind of what they were going for for this. It's an odd taste. I already don't personally, not a huge watermelon guy. Um, like it's, I'll eat it and stuff, but um, I don't love the, the the flavored watermelon stuff. I love strawberry though. So yeah, this is, it's, it's, No, it's honestly not that bad. It definitely tastes a lot more like fake, I would say. Um, and for those of you that um, drink alcohol responsibly, uh, this probably, it would be a good mixer with drinks. Um, Coke is a very popular mixer drink uh, for anything else. And so if you had like a, a already flavored kind of like rum, this would be a, a pretty good um, Coke in that, I think. Why not? Let me try that. Okay, I've got my uh, little bit of peach. This is a peach crown, a peach crown rum uh, with a little whiskey stone in it so that uh, it stays nice and cool. And I was gonna put regular Coke in here. Let's, uh, let's try this with um, some marshmallow Coke. We'll put a decent amount in because there's a decent amount of rum in there. So let's, uh... <laughs> it doesn't, that doesn't really do anything. Let's, uh, let's try this out. I feel like that nullified the flavor a little bit. It's a, I know it's weird, it's a peach rum with a watermelon strawberry Coke. 
That tastes maybe a little worse than regular Coke and rum. The It's not as very, it definitely like negates the rummy feel of it for sure, but not too bad. Okay, let's crack open this Coke Zero, a zero sugar marshmallow. Let's see how this one is. Yeah, this is a more like tamer. The Zero is a lot more of a tame kind of regular. I don't know, it's, it's the closest to like a, it's not as intense of a, as a taste as the other one, so. Um, that's, that's the zero sugar. Okay, so if I had to make an official bow tied Coke tier list line thing, I would have regular Coke in the middle, and then on the best side would be the cherry vanilla Coke style. And then uh, like cherry and vanilla is, is like in between somewhere, just individually. And then on the other side, Diet Coke is on the far other side because I don't like Diet Coke at all. Coke Zero is kind of in the middle there. Um, where does this land? I would say this is like just below regular Coke, just below regular Coke. It's a fun kind of more fruity style. It sounds, it's like a lot like a summer drink, which I'm now drinking at the, literally the last day of summer. And um, yeah. It's a, it's a fun one. Coke Zero. Let's see. Coke Zero. Marshmallow Coke Zero. Like just on par with regular Coke Zero. It just has a little bit more flavor to it. Maybe it's a little different. It tastes a lot more fake, honestly, than their one does, but whatever. But um, yeah, that's been my list. That's been my Coke video. That's what, well, I don't know what this is. Do you know what this is? I don't know what this is. I just know I'm a, I'm a self-proclaimed expert in Coke and a self-proclaimed expert in marshmallow. So I thought I'm an expert in this.